I see. I'm having too much fun. There's so many toys here. I just want to play, but you want to learn as well. Spring break is almost here, and we want to keep your Kiki active, but learning science, technology at the same time while they're away from school. And Kama Aina Kids can help. Now, Jolina Tanivasa is here. Aloha Hi, and welcome good back. Morning. But Ren Okada from Play Well is here. And Ren and I were talking about some of these toys, and I, I almost got distracted during the break. <laughs> but it's so funny. Kama Aina Kids is great. You have some wonderful mm -hmm. programs for spring break that encourage fun, but also learning at the same time, right? Exactly. So Kama Aina Kids is offering spring intercession program from March 16th through the 24th. Mm -hmm. We have locations throughout the state, including Outer Islands. That's awesome. And we have different programs for all students in grades kinder through eighth grade. We are especially excited about our newest um, addition to our specialty camp, and that's with Playwell Technology. And um, we are excited because it's a STEM program, mm -hmm. and all of us are aware of what STEM is. And this camp will help um, the kids learn um, STEM principles through Playwell's um, unique and very hands-on curriculum. You know, you said it right there. Play well, <coughs> STEM, playing and learning at the same time. That's so great for the kids. Mm -hmm. Now, Ren, I gotta ask, because literally I was gonna start to play here, but <laughs> for anybody that doesn't know, and you're right, it's a tag yeah. word that people say a lot, but what is STEM? What's the whole thoughts behind that? So STEM is the study of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Ah, okay. And we basically incorporate all these STEM principles within all the projects that we teach in our classes, along with um, aspects in design, architecture, art, and physics as well. That's so cool. So so really though, we have some amazing toys right here. Talk about them, but also when kids are putting these projects together, how really does it teach them science and technology and especially building these cool things? Um, so all the projects that you see in front of you, they incorporate the STEM concepts that they learn in class and we try to teach um, these STEM concepts through interaction and play. Uh rather than more traditional methods like reading or memorizing. Where, where were these programs when I was in the <laughs> Because you, know, exactly. you, you, get, you get bored in a book, but when you build something like this, you really put the science and technology together. So speaking of this, though, what is this? I mean, some of these Lego robots, what exactly yep, do we so have So these here? are some of our projects that we teach in our class. Um, this is a walker from uh, one of our Star Wars engineering classes. Cool. You can turn it on. Really? And I can use the walker? <laughs> oh, look at this. Dun, 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 dun. But this is really cool. You're actually moving the robot <laughs> forward and learning math and science the same time. Yep. Well, what's this one right here? This one is a battle bot. <laughs> so we can make it, actually that one just goes forward and backwards, mm -hmm. but this one can actually steer. Um, it's called the skid steering robot and it has a claw. Too. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. I should stop before it goes crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I gotta ask for you as, a, as an educator, why do you think kids really identify and, and, and get attracted to STEM when you teach it through Legos and robots like this? Um, so Lego is like the perfect medium for kids because, you know, they find it something as um, really fun mm -hmm. and also really familiar. Yes. Yes. And um, basically with modern day Legos, um, possibilities are pretty much endless. You know, anything you can imagine, you can build. That's right. And, you know, we just try to incorporate, you know, the f use of interaction and play to teach. Well, and the, the, when you put the robotics to it and you have angles and arms, mm -hmm. I mean, I can see how the math and the science really comes together. And especially the kids and all the electricity and it, putting that together yep. is cool. Now, speaking of cool, if you notice, his bow tie is really cool. I'm going to get one of these Lego ones a little bit later. Uh, really quick, though, age range, wh when, when can this start? What would be the best, what groups are you going to be covering? So, um, most of our programs are designed for K through 6. However, we also do preschool classes nice. and middle school classes as wow. well. 7th and 8th grade, too. I, I gotta ask, for an educator, what's it like for you when you get these kids and you see the, I mean... The, the light bulb. Yeah, the light bulb. Yeah. What's that like for you? So, some, most of our classes, um, kids come into class and, you know, some of them have, you know, Lego experience back at home, but, mm -hmm. you know, they don't really use the electronic components like uh, motors and pneumatics mm -hmm. and whatnot. But when you see that light bulb blink in their eye and flash in their eyes, and afterwards, after you teach them that concept, they can build successfully, you know, these advanced projects. It's just an awesome feeling. Yeah, I, I love it. I love it. You know, I love Legos so much, and it's when you wake up in the middle of the night, they're all over the house. But if this was all <laughs> over the house, very inspiring for parents out there. Now, Julie, for parents out there, though, again, spring break is right around yep. the corner. Uh, where would be the best way? And, and I love how you said you are across the whole state. Yes, so, exactly. you know, neighbor island families, where should they go? What would be the best day to look to get information on all the programs? Okay, so registration is online mm -hmm. at www.combinedkids.com. Registration deadline is March 4th. Coming up. And for this particular program, um, we are, it's for kids kinder through sixth grade, and the maximum capacity is 48. And as of yesterday, we already have 20 kids enrolled. So I would definitely, if you're interested, to get on that right away. Um, again, registration is March 4th. Got it. And um, we are hoping to expand this program during summertime and have various at various locations I love it. I love it. and um, for this program for spring break it will be at Voyager um, oh. public charter school mm -hmm. um, 
And so I'm really excited. The kids are going to have such a good time. And really, if, if you're out there and you've never had a chance to not only take part of Kamina Kids, because they do so many great programs, this is a great introduction to a wonderful nonprofit that you guys mm -hmm. are helping kids across yeah. the state. And really, when it comes to STEM stuff like this, there's nothing cooler. <laughs> Brent, thank you so much for showing this. Thanks Again, as an educator, us. you're the awesomest. And thank you, Dylan. This <laughs> thank is cool. You. I'm going to keep playing with this heading into the break. This is the Star Wars toy for me.